Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Penn, and welcome back to the channel. So a lot of you have known that I've set up a home theater, a 7.2.2 DTSX, Dolby Atmos, even supports the Aura 3D Up Mixer. Now, a lot of us <coughs> game on our computers, you know, whether it's a handheld device, rather people are getting into mini PCs or even desktop builds, you know, PC gaming is definitely getting more and more popular as of late. So some of us uh, have like a little bit more sophisticated setup. Uh, you already have your brand of choice. Some of you are rocking Martin Logan, Clips, Kef, things of that nature. And you got your receiver, processor, everything set up in your game room, entertainment room. Well, Windows 11 does allow you to play around with some spatial sound formats and also rock a 7.1. So in this video, not only am I going to give you some gems towards the end, I'm going to essentially tell you how to set it up in the software and get the bed layer and just the foundation set up in place correctly so that you can enjoy your surround sound when you're a PC gaming. All right, now what you want to do in this case is it's simple. You're already logged in to your PC. You've already put it together or bought it pre-built. You want to go to your sound settings right here. You see I already have it set up, of course, and you want to select sound output. Now, depending on what receiver you have, yours may say something different. I have a Denon X3800H, so Denon shows up right here. All right, so you want to make sure that your Denon is selected. That's going to ensure that your speakers are actually getting sound out of them. And then for spatial sound, yours may say something different. You may see off and you may see just Windows Sonic for headphones. I'm going to tell you about the Adobe Atmos and DCX later. For now, you want to do off. Go to more volume settings. And then from here, I'm going to scroll all the way down until I see more sound settings under advanced. Now here I can select Denon AVR, NVIDIA High Definition Audio, and you want to go to configure. So you see here, <clears throat> it's set up um, currently in stereo. This is going to be the default configuration. And depending on what you have, you may have built a stereo, a quad, a surround, and then they have 5.1. 5.1 that way and then 7.1 and then these additional options um, you're going to have to install those applications from the Microsoft Store I'll show you that uh, I want to focus on 7.1 so this is going to be a dedicated center speaker left right at least one subwoofer and then a surround a side left a side right and then you have your rear left and your rear right so that would be a 7.1 configuration. And then you can test this. So you can hit this and then it can say the device is being used by another application. So that's because I'm recording at the moment, uh, which is why that came up. So I'm gonna hit no. But essentially uh, you can test your speakers uh, before you continue on with the configuration, okay? And I'm gonna hit next. And then it says optional speakers. You want all of these checked. Once again, full range speakers, front, left, and right, surround speakers. You want all of these checked. And then the configuration is complete and you can hit finish. So each time you boot up your PC, um, you should have a 7.1 surround sound setup. And it is very immersive and it will use all of your speakers in your configuration. Then from there, you can up mix it to what you want. You can do Dolby Surround or 3D, DCS, you know, your receiver supports those options, things of that nature, okay? And then from here, you can just hit okay. And then boom, that is that. Real simple and straightforward. Now, there's going to be times where, especially some of these newer games that can be indie or AAA, they can support uh, Adobe Atmos natively. 
So what you want to do is you want to go into your Microsoft store. Um, you can type that in via the search, or you can literally, some PCs have it automatically um, as a quick, as a quick fix right here. So what you want to do is I just typed in DTSX. You can type in Adobe, but you want two applications. Uh, you want DTX Sound Unbound, and you want to also install Adobe Access. Adobe Access is how you're going to be getting your Adobe Atmos. Now, when you have a home theater set up, you don't have to pay for any of these. DTS or Adobe Access, they're completely for free in a home theater sense. All right, so the first application that I'm going to show is going to be DTS Sound Unbound. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to go all the way to DTS X. And as you can see, and this says not licensed, things of that nature, um, I can go to the home theater setup and then I have to enable it right there. So what you do is simple. Go to your Denon and you go to DTS X for home theater. You'll click on that. And I don't know if it's going to mess up my recording. It shouldn't, but go there. And you see that DCSX is enabled. DCSX home theater is good to go. So this just allow you to get a more immersive audio experience on, on your PC. And it states that DCSS can put you inside the sound with larger than life audio for games and entertainment on home theater or soundbar systems. So, of course, it's going to be most valuable while you're playing games. But also, if you're using this as a home theater PC in the traditional sense where you're playing your movies and TV shows on it, this is another application that you can add to the mix. OK. And then they give you like a sample video for you to play, for you to test out your simple, your system. And generally you just want to use the DTSX for home theater. And that's generally it. And you can explore the spatial sounds and it's pretty cool guys. It's pretty cool. All right. So next I'm going to go to my Denon AVR and under spatial sound, I'm going to go to Adobe Atmos for home theater. All right. So when you have the Adobe access app enabled, I'm going to exit out of that. You want to head all the way over to products and what you want to do, they charge you for Adobe Atmos for headphones, but in the home theater environment, it's free. All you need is the equipment. And this gives you your Adobe Atmos. Now heads up. I will only enable this for games that support Atmos natively. Now there can be some situations like there are some games that have like a, uh, a stereo mix. And if you enable the Adobe Atmos, it can use the channel up mixer and it can give you a 5.1 in the end game audio options. I've had that happen to me one time with this application turned on. So you can play around with it. It can deliver powerful moving audio uh, to your Adobe Atmos enabled home theater, soundbar, or TV. And you want the channel up mixer on. It just provides a surround with high experience while listening to stereo and multi-channel audio sources. So you can play around with it. For me, <coughs> I usually turn it on when there's a game that actually supports it because what happens on some AVRs, especially the Denon, it can have like some glitches or some bugs within the software. But generally speaking, um, Doom the Dark Ages, that's the Atmos game, for example, right? As soon as you turn Doom on, your receiver displays Dolby Atmos. Like you know, and then from there, you can up mix it to whatever you will prefer as your up mixer. But this is how you get it enabled. And you can tell by the visual here, you know, it has a center, a left and right, and it has some two rears, things of that nature, just to give you a sense of um, what you can do with this. But it's supposed to enhance your surround sound. And that's generally it uh, when it comes to the setup. 
And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down in the comment sessions. Um, some of you that are PC gamers that actually game on TVs or that have sound bars or surround sound systems, uh, are you using this? Did you know about it? Did you know how to properly set it up in terms of Windows 11? Things like that. Um, this is definitely a game changer for your surround sound. And I would definitely recommend you research and utilize these applications to their fullest extent. All right. But that's about it. Thank you for watching and take care. Goodbye.